The ultimate Fortnite build challenge. I've recruited 15 players from my Discord server. Link in the description. Why aren't you on my Discord server? They will be competing against me and each other to build the best animal in 10 minutes. At the end, everyone will have 10 fireplaces to vote on who has the best build and they will be the winner. I have no idea what I am gonna build. Well, yeah, no, I should probably figure that out. <laughs> If you guys want to see some more build challenges, then at 25,000 likes, I will upload another one. Thanks to this person for using my code in the Fortnite item shop. They will now have unlimited resources in their next Battle Royale game. You're welcome. Anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so the build challenge begins. Everyone else is over there and it is now closed off. So I think that we are going to build a giraffe. Um, not sure how it's going to look. And I, I just felt like it was a good thing to build. So, obviously, we've only got 10 minutes. So, we need to do the best job that we can. And I'm realizing we don't have, like... Oh, we, we have a little bit of height. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm hoping that building the giraffe is going to sort of stand out to all the people when they vote at the end. Um, but also, not be too hard. Because for all the people that are going to be making crazy builds, it's obviously going to be... Really tough to make that look good when we've got only 10 minutes to do it. I mean, a minute has already gone by. This is crazy. Now we're going to build, like, the, the body. Or, oh, this is tough because this is going to be really tall. Okay. So this is our body over here. All right. And then we're going to build the, the bottom bit as well. Nice. Okay. All right. So that's kind of the body section done. Actually, let's just finish off the top of here. There we go. All right, so <laughs> that's the body of the giraffe. Now we just need to build the head. We're going to have it coming out a little bit over here. Um, I think that works. I'm, I'm hoping I picked the right thing going with this color brick. I don't know what else I could have done, to be honest. There we go. Can we go one higher? How high can we do this? Whoa, we can go really high with this. Okay, that changes everything. I think we're going to extend it a little bit then. I think that that would be a good thing to do. I didn't realize we had so much space to use. Oh, I just realized we've got to destroy stuff like physically if we want to break anything. Okay, we've got to keep that in mind. So I think we should be able to give it hooves as well now that we've extended it a little bit. All right, there we go. Um... <laughs> All right, I think that's a little bit better. So now let's give it some, like, feet. There we go. That looks really good. Okay, I'm, I'm really happy that we did that. Um, now the question is, do we go up a little bit? I think, I think we should. I think that's a good decision. All right, there we go. We've extended the legs now. I think that looks a lot better. <laughs> Actually, um, maybe... Ooh, maybe we could put, like, that there so that it looks like it's got bigger legs. Hmm, that's a nice detail because you know the back legs are always a bit bigger and then we can Just do that there There we go There you go. Now that looks like it's I've got some proper legs We obviously got to do the tail we cannot forget that and the feet we could just improve a bit But I think let's focus on doing the neck right now so, I think for effect, we've got to make this obviously pretty tall so people know that it is a giraffe. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at us. Well, now we're pulling out some detail over here. This is surely going to get us extra points doing this. And what we'll do is we'll keep this bit like this so that we have sort of like the tail. And we'll improve that when we get to it. And I think this is the best way to do the tail. I, 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 I guess like that. And then down a bit. Okay. <laughs> this is... I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm honestly just winging it at this point. But I, I think that kind of looks good. Oh, and now we can do uh, that. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. I'm so happy that we made that change. It's going to make it look a lot nicer. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to give it more of a stomach, I guess. Now everything's got really close to the ground again. Okay. Two minutes are remaining. Okay. That is... The stress is kicking in. All right. Uh, that, we're going to have to just deal with that for the body. We've only got like just over a minute to deal with the head. 
we're gonna go with like this sort of shape. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> what is that? Okay, that, okay, just focus on on getting it right. Okay, um, let's do some ears. All right. <laughs> okay, and then let's put a couple of bits there. Where are the eyes gonna go, Josh? You're not thinking about these things. I think that's our giraffe's head. We've got a minute left to do some detail work. I don't know where we could do de- I mean, honestly, the giraffe's head doesn't look it bad. <gasps> if we put windows there, that could be the eyes. Okay, that's a good move. Okay, I like that. That looks really good. 30 seconds left. What do we do? What do we do? Maybe we can put some wall pe- No, we can't put wall pieces there. What if we just do it like- Like- Like that? And then turn this into a- A wall? Uh-oh. No, no. Time's up. Time is up. Time's up! No! Oh, we've got half of it missing! Oh, the walls are coming down! There we go, the walls are down! Everyone, stop building! All right, well, now it is time to take a look around and see what everyone has done. So we're gonna start off over here in the corner. This is apparently a dragon. Interesting. <laughs> so I'm gonna... <laughs> so... Show me around a little bit. So, could you just show me where the head is, please? Is this supposed to be the head? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> well, well done. And this is supposed to be the tail over here, I'm guessing. Well, uh, nice work, I guess. It looks like maybe you were a little bit incomplete. Let's go on to the next build. So, next up, we have a fish. Okay. Not too bad. It, it's got, obviously, multiple different materials so that's a, a good use of that uh it's quite a thin fish and it has two fins on the top but anyway yeah well, well done with you, your fish <laughs> so this is apparently a turtle um <laughs> great job <laughs> moving on <laughs> this is a tortoise okay so that was a turtle this is a okay. This is a much more reasonable looking tortoise, to be honest. Oh, look at the little tail! I think this is honestly, yeah, this is not too bad. I like this one. Good job, good job. All right, next up we have a cow. Noticing that this cow has a butthole. That's um, maybe I need to bleep that. <laughs> so over here we have the head. Honestly, the oh, we've got eyes. The the ears look. Look really good, actually. That's a smart use of doing the ears. We've got some jump pads randomly. Oh, they're the spots of the cow, obviously. Nice. Okay. Is there, is there anything else? I think that's uh, I think that is everything. And there's a spike strap under there. Okay, I nearly got killed by that. Oh, it's the udders. Wow, that's actually really thoughtful. Yeah, good job. Oh, okay. Next up, we have a giraffe. Now, this one looks maybe a little bit incomplete. There's definitely some patches. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit biased. Because I also built a giraffe, but yeah, no, I mean, no, uh, okay, it's got very thin legs. I'll say that. I'll say that. Moving on over here, we have a horse. <laughs> I don't know why the head of the horse is on its back, <laughs> and it has the thickest tail. <laughs> uh, its tail is four times, five times as thick as its head. Okay, this is an absolute unit of a horse. But uh, anyway, uh, good job with the, the horse, I guess. Okay, next up we have a red-bellied, short-necked turtle. <laughs> okay, uh, calling your creation short-necked is not an excuse for not making a head. Wait, maybe this is the front. I just realized, actually. Maybe this is the tail. Oh, and then this would be, like, the eyes? Would that is that the eyes? Is that what it is? Yes, you're nodding. Okay. Very creative use of making eyes. Okay. Moving on. Next up, we have a snake. Uh, this person has gone out of the nine by nine limit. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to be voting, but well, that's all I'm saying. Is this the tongue? Interesting. I mean, that looks kind of like a tongue if you remove the base. And then are these the eyes? Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very creative use. Why is, is there holes here? All right. Well, whatever. Moving on. Over here, we have some crabs. I can figure that out. You know, you've honestly got quite a good build if I can figure out what it is. These are very well made, honestly. We've got a weird, like, viewing platform. Sure. I, I mean, that wasn't in the, the instructions, 
But you did it anyway, so... But yeah, those look really cool. Next up, we have something that looks honestly terrifying. A dog. Uh, this is a dog. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how is this a dog? Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have another dog. Uh, <laughs> why does it look like a pig? This looks like two nostrils. It's a very thick dog. Uh, very short, stubby legs. We do have a tail, though. That's always good to see, I guess. All right, moving on over here. What is this? What is this, like a centipede? It is a centipede? All right, okay, I managed to guess it. Like I said, it's a good sign if I can guess it. Obviously, we don't have enough legs for it to technically be a centipede, but we've been giving a lot of other people some breaks on some of the things they're doing, such as a dog with arms. So we'll allow it. It doesn't really have a face. I mean, you can actually go inside of it. But I guess these are little, like, teeth or something. All right. Uh, yeah. Good job. Moving on. I'm guessing we've got another dog over here. Where are we? Is this a dog? Wait, what is, what is this? Oh, is this cat? It's not a cat. Okay, I'm a bit confused. I'm being told that this is a cat. I mean, not a cat, but it's called cat. So keep that in mind, I guess. So we've got a tail over here. And then the legs and the, the head. Very wide, chubby cheeks. Very cute. All right, well done. And then over here in the corner, uh, I'm not really sure what this is. What is it? It's a lynx. Okay, Th that's a very good way of doing the eyes. I think that was quite cool, actually. And the ears actually look really cool as well. It's basically like a cat, but a scarier cat. All right, finally, will everyone come and meet me at my creation? This is my giraffe over here. Want to make sure everyone gets a good look. I've put a lot of thought and effort into it. Ignore that it is not symmetrical. Uh, this one was born like that, okay? Accept it for what it is. I'm realizing it sort of looks like a llama. Maybe we should have gone with a llama. If you want it to be a llama, then it can be. There you go. Everyone else, you can now take a look around at everyone else's creations. And then the voting will begin. So in order to vote, everyone has built their creation inside of a different color. You have 10 campfires in your inventory. That is 10 votes each. You are now allowed to put those campfires in any of these colored holes at the top. And that will be your votes. You can put one vote in one person and five votes in someone else's. When everyone has finished voting, Please come back here and uh, we will see what the results are. So, uh, who do we vote for? Obviously, the crabs are cool, but they are very small, very simple. I mean, there's no way we're going to be voting for this llama. We can't vote for ourselves, um, but we don't want to give any <laughs> votes to the competition. <laughs> this dragon, I don't think it's going to be picking up any votes anytime soon. <laughs> I think the cow was decent. I think that deserves a couple votes. I think we'll give a couple votes to the crabs. We'll give maybe one vote to the dog cat thing, just because it was a quite a well-designed face. We'll give uh, some votes to the turtle as well. So we'll go and make those votes now, and then we'll see what everyone's got. So the votes are in and have been counted. The only one without any votes was dark brown over here. So let's go and have a look which one that is. I believe that is the fish. Congratulations, you got zero votes. <laughs> You're the only one with zero votes. Now in joint third place was purple and gray, which I believe is this one over here. Congratulations, you came third, sort of. And the other one was our absolute unit of a horse. Where, where are you? Congratulations, you came third. Good for you. In joint second, we have gray and silver. Uh, silver is you. Congratulations, you came second with your crabs. Your very realistic looking crabs. And then you over here, you managed to get second also. Well done. And in first place, it's a giraffe. But not the giraffe you're probably looking at right now. It was my giraffe or my llama type thing. I managed to come first place. Probably it has something to do with me recording this video and inviting everyone to join. But anyway, thank you to everyone that voted for my giraffe, even though he's a little bit crooked. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build challenge and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Remember to use code SLOGO in the Fortnite store if you want to be cooler than all of your friends. You can thank me later. Bye.